luck and fortune. So good luck and auspicious in the year of the rabbit. Hello everyone, this is Franz Zhiyong, a local Chinese calligrapher and painter. I was a high school teacher um, in um, Hong Kong before I migrated here, but I find out there are actually a lot of uh, Chinese artists living here in Sydney as well. So I um, get involved into some Chinese painting or calligraphy exhibition. So uh, now I have some students also following me to practice and learn how to paint in a Chinese way. Basically, uh, during the Lunar Chinese New Year, we'll cut all kinds of uh, red paper. And there are mainly three types of those uh, color red paper. A red color is a symbol of safety and happiness in Chinese way. Um, the first one is one single character, meaning a fortune or luck. So, folk. Right, just write one bay character. And then the next um, kind is uh, couplets carrying seven or five characters in one sentence. So it is actually a pair of sentences carrying auspicious wishes to your friends and their relatives. In the first and second sentence, the number of letters are always the same. So they are symmetric. And the last type is actually only four characters. So make sure you have enough space to squeeze in the four characters. <laughs> so good luck and auspicious in the year of the rabbit. Fai Chun is actually a very long tradition. Uh, I think they flourished uh, around Ming and Qing dynasty when paper is quite popular. And then we'll just cut some uh, four character size paper in order to write a four character of species blessings. It sometimes depends on the career and uh, whether you are a merchant or businessman or even a student. So you can uh, talk about uh, their future careers in the new year. So uh, carrying some good blessings and a prospect for uh, another new year. In terms of teaching in uh, non-Chinese background students or followers, I will start from the very beginning or origins of Chinese calligraphy. For instance, uh, this uh, coming new year is the year of the rabbit. So if you research back to the origin of the rabbit character, it is actually a upright standing rabbit. So that is why uh, I'm trying to show them all kinds of uh, pictograms in the very origins of Chinese calligraphy through the ages. From the beginning is the oracle bones, and then it's the metallic scripts. That means it is the copper vessels, containers. They carved or cast into the containers and then get this character. And the third one is what I call the seal script, the Qin Dynasty one, seal script. And this is the official script in Han Dynasty. Uh, finally, we established the current style of regular scripts, Tu, Tu Zi. And this is the semi-cursive until the last style is the uh, cursive script or running script if you want. Even some of the Chinese uh, background people living in Sydney, they uh, probably lost connection with the traditional Chinese culture as well. So I have to start uh, from the very beginning in order to provide some easier way and the interesting way to arouse their curiosity about the traditional Chinese culture. So calligraphy is the best way as a gate to uh, penetrate through into the kaleidoscope of the Chinese culture. I wish everybody uh, watching the video a very big good luck and fortune in the Chinese New Year. And this character is combining the original character of fortune with a upstanding rabbit. So hoping everybody suddenly jumbo, so so ping on.